Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm going to discuss about another string function in Power Automate Cloud Flow expressions, slice. Slice function is more or less similar to substring function, but approach is different. In this video, I'm going to add four different examples with sample data, which I'm going to share you in the description as a link, which you can download and uh, follow with me. So this video helps you to understand not only just understanding a simple slice function, but also how to use it in different scenarios and how to provide or extract the information and supply to other actions to get more productive outcome as a cloud flow. My request is to watch this video completely to understand the topic in a better manner. And uh, if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe, like this video and try to share with as many possible so that this video reaches as many uh, people who are interested in learning of cloud flows, they will get benefited. Of course, your subscription, your share and your like will definitely help me. So now let's jump into the video and let's understand slice function along with various other actions. As I mentioned earlier, in this video, I'm going to present four different problem statements as examples so that I can give you a complete understanding on slice function. So in the first example, I'm using this data and what is a problem statement? Here I have a request ID and this data is coming from maybe through a form or maybe somebody is entering the data into this particular Excel. From there, I need to pick up certain values. If you look at request ID is a combination of several categories. For example, BNK means banking, HLT means healthcare, RTL means retail, and MNF means manufacturing. Next two characters that is US, India, UK that means country. Then PL like a product line or something like a category and then year 2025. So till this in all the rows the length of characters are same but the last one that is serial number may vary for if every row. So I need to pick that separately in a proper manner. Now what exactly I want to do with this file, this column, I need to pick up only those rows where industry either banking or retail and where the priority is high and only those rows I want to pull separately and send an email to my end user as a HTML table. So here I'm using filter array action as well and then I'm using slice function inside. That. So let me show you how to deal with that so that you will understand slice function in a very better way. Let me jump into Microsoft Power Automate Cloudflow and I need to use either instant cloud flow or schedule cloud flow because this file is already there. So data has already been entered earlier. From there, I need to pick up the required information. So it can be a scheduled flow as well, but I'm using instant cloud flow. Instant cloud flow, understanding slice function in part one. So manually trigger a flow, create. Next, I need to add an action. Since I'm retrieving the data from Excel, so I need to go to the Excel connector, Excel online business and I need to find out an action list rows present in a table and then I need to give the location since I'm using OneDrive a file it will be OneDrive for business document library will be OneDrive file is service requests so I need to go to specific location and then I need to find out service requests then table name is table requests and then I need to filter array for banking separately retail separately so one will be a new action in the data operations filter array and then I'll rename this as banking. Now from list rows present in a table the body value a list of items I need to use to retrieve the data and I need to add two conditions. Currently while using filter query only one condition can be done in a automatic manner and if I want to add more conditions I need to go to the advanced mode. Since I have two conditions I'll jump into edit in advanced mode. Let me remove this and uh, let me use functions and there I'm writing the this function. I need to satisfy two conditions. So and then I need to say that whatever the string is containing BNK equals BNK 
so equals then i need to pull out b and k from the request id so slice and then the item will be coming from the dynamic content that is request id comma i need to begin with zero because indexing in power automate cloud flow is zero and then the last index because slice and substring will have similar kind of parameters but they are not same substring will ask you give me the starting character and then give me the number of characters but in case of slice it is asking you to give me the starting uh, index and then what is the ending index so here the ending index is 3 not number of characters that you need to keep in mind so that equals b and k and then along with that equals again i need to find out the priority column where i have medium low and high and that should be priority column comma high and with that i have the functions now you can see i'm comparing two different conditions one which is equivalent to b and k that means from the request id i need to pull out b and k and i need to compare with b and k a static value and also i need to find out wherever the priority is equal to high i need to click on update or rather add and now that will give me only the number of rows which are pertaining to banking and they are having only high as a priority same way i need to just uh, do one more action i can just copy this and then right click and then add a parallel paste a parallel action so that the same thing will be added here so this will not be banking but it will be retail so now since i have uh, already done everything here only thing is i need to just change the formula a little bit so here instead of b and k i need to just say rtl i need to find out rtl and then where it is the priority is high and then update with that my data is ready now here i need to pull the data using html table so let me add an action so below this filter array banking so the action name is in the data operations create html table and then it has to come from the filter array banking the body show all select custom there i need only three columns one is customer second is amount and description so i'll just add three columns so here customer then amount then description so here i need to find out each and every item so here what exactly happens when you go for a dynamic content you will not get much you will only see list rows present in a table and manually trigger a flow for that you need to find out another way that is go to functions and then find out the dynamic content but still you're only getting just the body of filter array banking simple we need to find out each and every item one by one so let me select a function itself and then i write item then i need to find out from that item the column name that is customer and that should be very similar to the excel file this is the name i need to use add it and same way here it is amount so amount is just amount only so another function then item amount add it and then finally i need to find out the description so let me another function when you are selecting the dynamic content from the list if it is available you need to you notice one thing you will get one question mark here that is basically querying the data but you can avoid that still that is acceptable but yes having question mark is much better but currently i'm not using html table created same thing i need to just copy and then go here i need to paste here paste an action so here i'll just uh, go and uh, find out again values are same so i need not change anything only thing is i need to find out title as banking and this title as retail now let us discuss example two so here i have a request id and this request id changes in every row the number of characters but i want to only pull the four characters that means in case of 110001 i require only triple zero one out and then i need to add star 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 and then i need to send a message 0001 is action something like that so now it has to happen for every row row by row i need to do that now let me go back and then save as it is part two so whenever you save a flow as another flow then it will be by default turned off so i need to just jump into the details of the flow and then i need to make it turn on then only i can use it so now let me remove all this and i need to add a new action apply to each because every row has to be separately evaluated so for that in the controls i have an option apply to each there i need to pick up the data from list rows present in table and then i need to add a action called compose the input 
will be a function slice and I need to give the text in which I need to take out the value. So dynamic content select request ID comma. Then I need to find out only the four characters of the entire string sub that means subtract the length of the entire string that is items request ID comma four. So this will give me the position of the character where it has to start from. So it has to start from from the left side fifth character then four characters it has to stake. But here I need to be careful. Here I'm not giving the number of characters. I'm giving the end character. So what I'll do is I'll write this function again. Give me the complete length. So let me explain in Excel. For example, I have the length of this. So if I say length of this butler text is basically giving me 17. 17 minus four starting point 13 character. Now I need to find out the end position is 17. So again, I'll use same length function. That is what I did here. So one first I found I need to slice this text. Then I have subtracted the length of my entire string by four so that I'll get the starting point and then end index number is 17 and that will give me only the four characters. Let me add. Now I need to add another compose. In this, I need to concatenate what I want to write. So that is a function, then concat. So I want to add eight stars and then comma, whatever is coming as an output from the compose and add it. Now I can send an email or just create a compose action to see what exactly the result is. So let me just go to another compose, final output, the compose output. And now let me test it after saving it. Now the final outcome is for the first record is this. So I can actually edit further. So what I can say request ID ends with is action. So I think that is what is a better one. Save it and let us test again. Now the result will be request ID ends with 001 is action. That is first for first record 0724, second record 0045, third record and so on. So that is how we can use slice function to create custom messages. Now let us see the example three. I have a different table. This table is basically a table related to retail. And I have an order ID, then customer and order value. So here I need to update the month column and I want to update the quarter column one by one. So for that, first of all, I need to find out quarter based on the month number. And also based on the month number, I need to define what exactly the value should be. So I have 2025, year is there, then I have month is there, and from there, how to exploit the data. Same thing I have explained in the substring function as well in another video. In this video, I'm using slice function. Now let me jump into Power Automate Cloudflow. Instant Cloudflow, example three slice function manually trigger a flow and create so i need to pull out all the records from the table excel online business list rows present in a table one drive for business document library is one drive then file is coming from a specific location then table will be table retail now i need to apply this particular action on every row so for that add a new action in the control that is apply to each and that data is coming from the body value of list rows present in a table i need to start with a compose i need to find out the quarter. Quarter will be based on the number. In Gregorian calendar, Jan, Feb, March will be in Q1. So 1, 2, 3. So I need to find out the number of the month. So in the string of order ID, position of the month number like 0, 01 is starting from 11th character and ending at 13th character. So that is what I'm going to write in slice function. So let me go to compose input, select a function and the function will be slice, select our order ID, comma, 11th position is the starting point, 13th position is the ending point. And then let me add it. But one thing you need to make a note, since we're selecting two characters, 0, 1, 0, 2, that is the value is coming out. If it is 12, 12 will come out but I want that to be converted into an integer a number and then convert into month name for that I need to add one more compose then I need to find out quarter based on if condition if less or equals 
first i'll convert the value into integer from the output of compose action and then comma 3 that means less than or equal to 3 close bracket then it should be q1 then comma again just copy this entire thing another if condition we need to pass so if less than equal then it will be 6 then it will be q2 again one more if condition this is 9 then q3 otherwise it should be q4 and that is how i have done it and one more bracket to be closed then you're good to go if uh, the value is less than or equal to 3 then q1 less than or equal to 6 it is q2 and less than or equal to 9 it is q3 and let me update it so based on that the quarter will be updated so one more compose action to find out the month number month name from the month number so another function so first i need to find out the position of year so slice then order id comma year is starting at seventh position and uh, ending at uh, 11th position that is one another slice function will give me month number that is starting from 11 and ending at 13 now i need to concatenate these values i need to convert this into a date format like year month and date so i'll say concat and then after this slice comma i'll add one hyphen comma again after this i'll add one more hyphen and after this i'll add one and close bracket so this will give me a date stamp with year month and date then i need to convert this into a month month name so format date time then after end of function so i want only the month in the form of three characters jan feb like that and then add it and let us test it whether we are getting the right value so let me save it test so the first compose value is giving month number in the form of 01 and it is string then the next is giving q1 so the first order id has got january so it is q1 and if i go to the second row it is q2 because it's coming in april and let me do one thing just add this 1 to 6 and this 4 to 12 and again let us run this so let me edit and then test this time you will get the values accordingly so in the compose you are getting 6 second value is 12 the first value is q2 june falls in q2 in gregory calendar and december falls under q4 and then you got december and whatever the values you want now i need to update these values into the table so add a new action and then update a row that is the action i need to select from the excel online business so update a row select again the same one drive for business and one drive file table and then i need to find out the key column the key column is the unique column in the entire data is that is order id and key value should be from list present in a row there the order id and then i need to update only two columns one column is month that will be coming from compose 2 output and a quarter will come from compose 1 output and then save it and test it let me jump back to excel by june q2 december q4 it is updated in the last example i'm not explaining you you need to try so here i have another table which is called uh, table sla logic so there i have a claim id and have the claim id is showing inpatient and outpatient so that value to be populated here and based on that i need an email or maybe a kind of comment here that what is the sla should be in case of inpatient it is 24 hours in case of outpatient it is 12 hours I want to update it so now try yourself and let me know in the comment section i will personally give you the answer so that you match the, your answer